What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Awesome Nerd Show. I am Zio showing off more of my Power Ranger collection and today we have the Power Rangers Ninja Storm Storm Megazord. So this is a pretty cool Zord. Now I wasn't a huge fan of Ninja Storm. We're just about to start watching it actually. So maybe I'll get some more appreciation for it. But when I was younger I just couldn't get into it. Like I've said in the past I always would start at least with the first episode of each season just see if I'd like and then depending on what the Zords would be would kind of determine if I'd continue to watch or not. And this one was one I just had no interest in. So here we have the Storm Megazord. Of course the Megazord for the three wind rangers of red blue and yellow so we have each of their pieces for red we have the hog sword for yellow we have the lion sword and for blue we have the dolphin sword so overall i've been messing around with this a lot and i really do enjoy this sword so it's kind of making me excited when i start watching the season that maybe i'll like it a little bit more but it's pretty nice overall so again we have the hog sword filling out the head the dolphin sword filling out the right arm and the rest of the body being all of the lion sword and it has some pretty cool features overall like so for the dolphin it has a spin thing on it and so does the lion here which we i actually have the whole like rip cord thing that will spin that which is cool and then it also has this thing here on the chest that opens up and reveals a ball and the ball has a weapon inside of it which I do have a couple of these I almost have all the zords from ninja storm and so I got a couple of these balls and I they're just random ones have random numbers you know this one's number one so I was like oh my god I'm missing so many of them but I think by what it looks like toy wise I think I have pretty much all of them which is cool so go and just leave this out for now so to make it easier but we'll go and shut this up so just a nice looking zord overall again I like the whole chest piece there that opened up just that red design on it just nice and shiny now this is old and used so i am missing at least one thing from the sword that i know of so that's a little bit unfortunate but otherwise it still looks in pretty good conditions like the hulk which i can show closer in a second has a little bit of paint chipping off there but other than that it looks really good so if we pan down all the way to the feet you can see what it looks like down there and everything nothing too impressive but just very nice looking overall so we can start to take it apart to get it into the individual sword so we'll take the hawk off there so there's the, of course the head for the megazord but to get into the bird we'll just go in and unfold the wings out there you can see the paint kind of chipping off there at the top of the head but the head just folds up like that and then we can grab onto the back here which pulls down into the tail so there you have the bird so unfortunately it doesn't have a thing that helps it stand like I thought when this folded down to hide the head you know that'd be more flat but it still has this little point down here so it doesn't stand too well so you just have to kind of like get it to stand like this and use the tail as a thing to lean in it looks very nice though I like the way it goes into the little hawk there it looks really nice it doesn't look too bad or anything and the whole white there on the wings looks really nice as well so just very nice looking for the hawk's or it's real tiny but it looks really nice and then we'll go ahead and pull the dolphin off as well and so for this it's pretty easy all you do is just fold the tail down and it should be pulled out for the arms so you know get some bend in there but we'll just go and push it back in and then you just need to kind of push the fist in like that so it kind of hides it and that's really all that that does and it's supposed to have a little like sled thing or something that it can sit on and it has wheels on the bottom so it can roll and that's one thing I'm missing but obviously it doesn't work for in the actual Zord mode so that's probably why I don't have it since I bought this used and I didn't even know about it until I went online and looked up in instructions for this but the dolphin looks very nice so it's weird with the wheel there in the center of it but it just kind of fits with this zord oh and i forgot to mention they do have the logo so like there it has the logo there of the dolphin and stuff and the bird which is kind of hard to see has there on its tail the hawk zord so i like how it has the little logos on there too and finally we have the line so i do want to go ahead and show this so again i do have the ripcord here so that's the ripcord that you can pull out and then it just sits there and spins that thing around so that's pretty cool um i like that thing and i know in the show the line comes from like a ferris wheel so i guess that's what that's supposed to be and everything Thing, so that's pretty fun. So let's go ahead and do the transformation. So I'll just pull the head off and then we'll just take and fold the arms forward, which this is how I always left it until, like I said, I read the actual instructions. I always just left the arms like this and just hooked the stuff on here because it still works. And then it just left this piece looking here, which I didn't think looks too bad, but I guess it is supposed to be folded to the back like that. But then we can just take the feet and fold them down here to the front. So just like that. And then you go ahead and you, there has this little buttons here on the feet. So as I pushed it, it kind of released it there. But you push that and it allows the leg to move forward and fold in all the way that far so it just slides up to the chest. And we can go ahead and either leave them separate or push them together like I will. And then on the bottom here we have the feet hints so you just grab those and pull them out and they just kind of fold forward and pop in as you could hear that probably and then folds in there so there we got the two feet there in the back and then it has the lion logo there on its leg too so it looks very nice overall for that so we have that and then we're just missing the head so we got to take the head piece here and we'll go ahead and fold the hand up into it there like that and then just take the head and pop on so as the two gray clips there go onto the yellow pegs there so we'll just slide it right onto there and there we have the lion now so it looks really weird with a big giant head piece here but it still overall looks pretty cool and decent stuff 
itself looks like a line and then the rip cord can also turn into the tail so it has a little slot right in there and it just kind of the end of it sticks there i don't know if it's supposed to be just like that so you know it looks like a tail there or if you're supposed to do it this way i don't really think it matters too much but it just goes in there for a tail for that and i don't know what really goes on here this may have to do with like the ultras order something but it's just a little bit weird how this like lifts up and stuff like that i don't know again like i said i haven't really seen the instructions too far to see exactly what this does has a little peg there and stuff so again i don't know what all this does but it's interesting so there we got the lion zord the hawk zord and the dolphin zord so very nice overall for this set i must say like i said a line is a bit of what's detracting me from this i like the whole like ripcord thing the way you pull it and this spins but other than that, i just think it's way too big like the head area is just way too big and the line doesn't look that great body wise but it's not too bad i really like the hawk the hawk's definitely my favorite and the dolphin you know looks just like a dolphin nothing too drastic except for it has the wheel there so now that we have that we can go ahead and put it back together so again we'll just work in reverse so we'll go and just pull the line head off of the front there we'll go and just get the tail out and sit that to the side so then we can go and do the legs so again do the same thing so push on the red button there in the front and pull it down and if you have them stuck together they will you know slide out together just like that together and there is this little like clip inside there that i always like just to make sure that i get kind of hidden up under there so i may have to like pull out on it and slide it back in there so it looks like both of them are now and it does feel like they are locked in because if you don't they will like as you're setting this up they will you know legs will fall to one side or the other sometimes but we'll go and fold the feet back so just fold up there and fold them flat so we can just get it back and fold flat and there we got the feet and we can move up to the head now so we'll just fold the legs back and then go and pop them loose and back to the side just like that so that again how it's supposed to be and we can go ahead and get the dolphin so we'll go ahead here and all you do again is just fold the tail up which reveals the peg there that goes onto the clip and then you can just pop it out so you begin to get that elbow joint movement in there and you just slide it right on there just pop it on and then make sure you get the fist pulled out there and then with the line all we do is get the fist and fold it out there to make sure it's locked in there and then just pop it right on the peg and finally the hawk here so we just take it make sure we get the face revealed fold the head down if you want like that get the wings folded with the white parts out to the side just like that and then take the tail get it folded up to the back there and there we've got the head ready to go so it has the two pegs that it can go on or i guess four pegs and you always kind of want to put it at the back because if you put it at the front it just makes it look weird overall with the body so you just stick it onto the back part there so that looks awesome and again i always just take the rip cord and stick it back in here so i don't lose it as much so i just get it stuck inside of there just like that so it kind of sticks through but it's not too bad and finally we have that chest ball which if we go ahead and open it it reveals a little thing inside here so these are the power spheres and they have different things inside of each of them and this one is the serpent sword it's the main weapon of this megazord so you just kind of grab onto it pull it out and it extends all the way out has a little handle here that folds down which you can see kind of like a bird's feet or something there and then it has even like little wings that fold out so we have this big long sword now of course it's you know kind of flimsy and stuff just the way it's designed and age and everything it doesn't hold as well but it turns into this long nice long sword and you can just take that and move into the hands and the hands do open and close so they don't fully but it has some movement going in there as you can see so we'll just take that open it a little bit slide it back on there and so there it has the sword now the serpent sword there which again is the main weapon of the megazord so that looks very cool and like i said i had no clue what these balls were for until i started looking into it researching more and then realizing once i did that i pretty much had all the ones you need because i have other ones that go with the other zord that allow this to go into like the hurricane zord i think is what it's called with the thunder megazord and this one combined and then into like the ultra zord form and stuff so that's pretty cool overall that i have all those likes that i didn't realize it but it's so pretty cool and i like how they all go into these little balls and stuff they all fit into it with the different pieces and then like this one you can store in his chest so just very cool overall for this or like I said i'm very impressed by it after messing with it a bunch because when i first bought this you know i just bought it messed around with it a little bit and then just kind of put it in storage but now that i've actually got it out and messed around with it quite a bit and with along with the other zords as well i'm really starting to grow an appreciation for this zord overall like i said the line needs some work the line's my least favorite part of this but everything else looks pretty fun and is really decent for this overall so that's going to be it for this power ranger ninja storm Storm, Storm Megazord. Like I said, I really enjoyed this, so I have to definitely give this Zord thumbs up. But go ahead and let me know your opinions down in the comments down below and hit that subscribe button while you're down there. But if you enjoyed this review, be sure to check out the Isis Megazord over here on the left and all our Power Rangers on the right. Thank you all for watching this video. Remember to stay awesome out there, and I will see you next time.